Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nikopara. So in the last episode we met a takoyaki cat girl and she was so adorable and we bought three takoyakis. And now we are home and I still can't get a hold of her. And her, I believe, is our sister. Or my sister. Were there guests over today? Hmm, maybe. When I checked the clock, it was past 10 o'clock already. Oh, might be a little late to call our little sister. Since then, I tried calling Shigure several times, but couldn't get through to her. Oh man. And just like that, it had already gone this late. Hmm. I've never gone this long without hearing from Shigure. <gasps> what if she fell asleep? Oh. I think that would be more dramatic if I said, what if she just uh, ran away? <laughs> I really didn't understand my family's schedule at all. Well, I mean, you kind of uh, ran away to do this uh, business. Yes? Yes, Shakala? We bathed together? How long ago was that? Hey, wait, wait, hold on. Why are you calling me a pervert when when you said when you said that I haven't bathed with you girls since you've matured? You haven't even grown that much. What are you two talking about? Oh, they're angry. Oh, uh, sorry. Wait, what? How, how are those words sexual harassment? Huh. I see. Vanilla, you're the one changing the subject. In any case, don't worry about the bath. You two need to get ready to go home. Hey, don't be playing dumb now. No home as in... Back home. Home. Oh. Handsome? Hmm. Are you trying to woo me into a sense of, uh, forgetfulness? Stop feigning ignorance, you two. Cut that out. Yeah. The two of them looked my way, about to distract me again. Since Shigure isn't picking up, I'll take you two home. So go get ready to leave. Oh. Chocolate and Vanilla turned away from me and cast their gazes downwards. Returning home on the same day I had moved out. It seemed to be such a stupid idea that I did hesitate a bit. There was no other way. Nor was there time for excuses. I looked towards Chocolate and Vanilla as they hung their heads in silence and continued on. Continued what? Listen up, you two. I'm going to open my bakery. I've got no one to rely on, so I don't know how things will turn out. With all that's going on, I don't know if I can take care of you two, get it? Aww. I mean, it's already going to be difficult enough just looking after myself. Huh? It was a quiet voice I could barely hear. Chakra said something with her head down. Hmm? What did you say? I came closer and asked her to repeat herself. 
Oh, okay. Oh, jeez, that's yelling my ears. My ear holes. Oh no, don't hate me. Wah! Ah, ah, wait. Hey, Chocola? Oh, okay. Ah, wait, stop. Vanilla, why are you running away too? Oh, are they playing hide and seek or tag? Hide and seek tag? Hey, you get back here, you. It's dangerous, so stop running around. If you fall, you'll get hurt. <laughs> sa -sa -sa. Maybe so in Chocola's case, but aren't you bad with physical activity? Come on, I've got you now, Chocola. Oh my, where am I grabbing? I don't even know. <gasps> I, I am not. It's because you two are running around. <laughs> Opening. Hey, ah, stop it. You're still going to run? Okay, I've got you vanilla. <laughs> Wow, Chocola, stop! Really, stop! <laughs> Chocola! <laughs> like I said, stop running! The two of them didn't listen to a word I said as they continued to mess with me. And that was how the first night went. Aww. That seems fun. Oh, are they in their nightgowns now? Aww, oh, they look so cute. For now, I'll let you stay, but only for tonight. I don't have guest beds or futons, okay? While all that was happening, 11 o'clock became midnight. Wasn't it 10? Wow, 2 hours. Or 1 hour. I don't know. I thought it was 10. Even if I took them home, everyone was sure to be asleep by now. Yeah, it's midnight. One glimmer of hope I had that Shigure would call me back didn't happen. Oh man. So I decided that taking them home tomorrow was my first priority. You will? Um. Uh. Cleverly, they had even brought pajamas. Wow. Just how much planning went into their schemes, anyway. Hmm. Not sure. Really, if you two sleep there, where will I? I, I mean, you two are matured, so... Uh... I'm... that's why? Wait, so I'm sleeping on the side, and Chocolate's sleeping in the middle, and then you! Why is Chocolate in the middle? That's where all the comfiness is. Get that one pillow there, and it's like, mmm. Then you don't, have, you don't have to be afraid of falling off the bed. Oh. Don't get ahead of yourself, you two. A single bed for three people is too crowded. Unless you have a king size bed. Then that, that might work. Where? On the, on the floor? The hard wood floor? Oh. Or luxuries? Oh. 
Hmm, that does kind of make you model cat girls. I watched the two of them lie down and curl up on the floor of an empty room without even curtains. Well, that's not good. Or is it peeping Tom there? Hey, you, I see you. You and that mask and that green bag of yours. Hey, get back here. Actually, no, go away. That's way too pitiful of a sight to be called praiseworthy. Are you gonna make a castle? A box castle. Aw, that sounds so sad. That's something only strange people would say. Where did these cat girls get this information from anyways? Eh, who knows. Well, they probably read a lot of books and watched TV in Shiguri's room. Oh, maybe. Chakla isn't good with kanji characters, so she only reads picture books, though. Oh. Picture books? Really? Just picture books? Ah, uh, whatever. You two go sleep in my bed. It still gets pretty cold at night in April, after all. It sure does. Wait, in Japan. Did it get that cold? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think I must sleep on this hard rock floor wood thing. I'm going to sleep on the sofa in the living room. Oh, we have a sofa? I didn't know that. The sofa can fit one person and there's air conditioning in there if I need it. Oh. Wait, hold on. Hold on. He just said it was going to be cold. Why would he need air conditioning? I know he's talking about the heat. But you should have just said the heat. That's confuzzling. Hmm. What? But they only fits one person. No, I just told you two could sleep in my bed. What's happening here? They moved quickly towards me like lions catching their prey. I placed my hands on their heads and spoke in a clear and stern voice. Listen up. I will sleep on the sofa and you two will sleep in my bed. Those are your master's orders. Understood? Oh, uh, what's that now? Oh. I said it like that deliberately. The two of them looked as if they wanted to say something, but they hesitated. Oh, man. They lowered their heads apologetically. Oh. They mustered out. They looked like they were on the verge of tears. Oh, what have you done, Kasho? Their obedience had the exact opposite of the effect I expected. It filled me with guilt. Yeah, it should. I felt a prickling sensation in my chest. That pain left me as I sighed and rubbed the two of them on the head. Come on, get going. Hi. Oh. Good night. If anything happens, call for me right away. That's the bed? Eh, it might be crowded. I don't know. Three people? Hmm. Oh. I gently rubbed the heads of the two dispirited cat girls once more. See you in the morning. With that said, I turned the lights off in the room. Yes? Aww. Her vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my heart from before became even sharper. I swallowed that pain and replied cheerfully. 
It's okay. If it's just for one night, don't worry about it. Now then, go to sleep. Oh. I really shouldn't act on my emotions, huh? I laid down on the sofa. I sighed while staring at the ceiling. That's a lot of light. If I gave in to my emotions, the result would just lead to more sadness. Yeah, that's what happens with emotions sometimes. If I use kind or hopeful words, they would all end up as lies. Oh, it's pretty uncool of me to be so passive like this. Yeah, you're so uncool. Why well, continue to pile on insults and make excuses for my actions? I closed my eyes and waited for sleep to take over. Oh. Usually that stuff would like keep you awake or something. Ah, chocolate was only a blanket. Hmm, there's a pretty big difference between an underquilt and a bed covering. <laughs> ah, it's morning time. Now I'm going to end the episode here, buddy. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode where, um, you know, we played hide and seek tag and then, yeah, and then I felt guilty for telling them with a stern voice. But anyways, we'll find out more if Shigure is going to actually take them back or not. So everyone, if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!